Muhammad Ali did not invent the knockout punch. Elvis did not invent rock and roll. Amelia Earhart did not invent aviation. And we did not invent the electric car. We did something radically different. We injected it with the Audi DNA. We challenge everything and relentlessly test everything. We've combined intelligent technology with white knuckle performance. This is taking on mud, snow, and mountains. This is full throttle and fully connected. This is a new way to drive with high speed charging capability and the full backing of a nationwide dealer network. This is electric unleashed. We wanted really to make something special. I think it's going to create a new way of using the car, a new way of using mobility. My name is Thomas Pinel. I'm interior designer by Audi. This car is full of surprises. When you start to use it, then you understand why we did it like that. We had a lot of thinking, a lot of brainstorming at the beginning. What could it be and how the electric car for Audi should look? My name is Vladimir Matzon. I'm the interface designer at Audi Design. We came to the theme of sounds of silence. Electric car, you have no engine noise, so it gives you new freedoms. And we wanted to interpret it somehow into the design. You have completely different emotion in this car. It's still a strong car. It has an amazing performance. It's like beautiful contrast between this huge power and this silence. We have very fast lines. This car is definitely a sport SUV. And at the same time, we bring a lot of elegance in it. This is a car that we have to use. It's a car that has to be really comfortable. We were definitely searching for the new identity for the electric cars. We were also inspired by this new technology, you know. You have this electric power, which is huge power. We wanted to have a special signature. It's a lighted signature. It's really telling you that you're getting inside this electric world. We have a very horizontal line. It's also a support with light. And this line, it's also kind of a, the horizon for our interior. Over this line is also the driving instrument. Underneath, it's more multimedia. It's uh, what is sharing the, with the passenger. And I really like it because it makes this interior really clear. The shifter of Audi e-tron is completely new. It's integrated and it's floating. It's a part of the middle console. It's from the structure of the console. It's not a separate island. The shifter itself is just a little trigger. The difference is you are not shifting with the whole hand mechanically, like in the combustion engine cars. You are just shifting with smooth movement of two fingers. It's part actually of our job to, to, to find the perfect balance between um, the use of the parts, the, uh, the technology, how we integrate it, and what we want to give to the people. I think at Audi, we are obsessed with making things perfect. In the end, we managed to make something which was impossible, somehow possible. The e-tron project was very, very special because uh, for Audi, the e-tron is definitely a milestone. Yeah, my name is Philipp Römers. I'm head of Exterior Design Studio 2, and in my team, the exterior design of the e-tron was done. The e-tron is the first full electric vehicle for Audi, and that's why everybody from the Audi design team wanted to take part on this project. It has some similarities to other Q models, but uh, definitely it brings a new language since we are talking about electrification for the first time. My name is Juan Carlos Huerta, and I'm exterior designer in Audi Design. The e-tron project is a really special project for Audi and it was absolutely exciting to be part of that. My name is Stefan Farbecker and I work at Audi in exterior design. 
For the first time, we have a really characteristic grill design for this electric car. It's not so high like normally, and it's quite wide. It's, it's really dominant. It's mostly closed. That's where you start seeing this an electric car. We don't need the normal air from a combustion engine car, so we could cover the single frame and uh, brighten it up. But in the same time, it shows that the car is still an Audi. We wanted to point out where the power comes from. The rocker is the heart of the e-tron actually because it features the battery. The heart is not sitting under the bonnet anymore. That's why we created a very special design also to emphasize that there's something new. We had to pay much more attention to aerodynamics, even more than we normally do because we do everything for the range. We created an architecture with a roof line which is dropping down to the back and in the same time it looks very, very attractive because it looks very sporty. We have a shoulder line that is running all around the car and it puts like a low center of gravity to the car which is quite sporty. But then on top, the quattro blisters or the quattro lines, they sit on top so it has this really robust and rugged feel to really emphasize that we are a Quattro brand. One of my highlights is for sure the rear end. I like the way that the rear glass connects to the shoulder almost in one surface, it makes it really clean. And then we have this light band going all the way through the rear and a really, really nice diffuser. Where the light band is ending on the outside, there's also a line that is going down. And this is also really good for aerodynamics to really break the wind in a controlled way and to reduce the drag that is taking place behind the car. It's important that the charging port sits at another place than a normal fuel cap would sit and it's nicely integrated into the form. It's not just a cutout somewhere, it's really the shoulder line is going into it and it's nicely attached to the wheel arch. And what is super important for me is that it opens automatically. And when you pull out the plug, the lid will close automatically as well. I'm proud of the fact that this car looks really sleek. It's a modern but really quiet design somehow. I'm really happy though. I think the result, it really speaks by itself. I think that the electric vehicles will be part of our future mobility. This is typical Audi when technology and design come together. For us, it's very important to start thinking how to visualize the shapes, the design of silence. My name is Cesar Montara. I'm head of the exterior light design department. If you want to design a silence, actually one of the elements that is more obvious to us was the equalizers. And you just see the music, you see these lines going up and down. So you can actually see sound. So we did a um, long horizontal line on the top for, as, as a signature, and then a collection of lines that it goes horizontal to the lower part. And this is actually visualizing this, this power going up and down. Those are the eyes of the car. The Audi e-tron is our first fully electrical vehicle and everybody who was involved in this project had this kind of feeling to do something special, something new, like entering a new world. My name is Philipp Wunsch. I'm responsible for the series development of the lighting components in the Audi e-tron. The rear lamps of the Audi e-tron are also very special because it's the first time where we have this e-tron signature and then combined with more than 100 LEDs uh, inside to get this continuous tail light, which is completely animated and very precise. I remember we designed these long lines and this just collection of lines on the side, very reduced, very simple, with a slight change of direction and staying there and saying like, is this going to be enough? And then in the moment, we all said, can you hear it? Can you see it? Less was more. This is a very special car for us, for Audi. I think in the Audi e-tron, the whole team achieved in the end uh, headlamps and taillights, which are pretty exciting, influenced by the latest design and included also the latest technology.
Now we have the e-tron, that means it's some kind of the mother of all e-trons. We know Audi with words like quattro, and now we will know it with words like e-tron. It's something completely fresh, completely new.